Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about utility charges on properties here in Dubai. The government utilities are managed by the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, better known as DWA, and I'm going to be focusing on them in this video. All properties need to be connected to DWA in order to receive electricity and water. Connecting to DWA can be done either online or in person. An end user must first register their property in order to connect to the services. For a tenant, a landlord must register their property under DWA first before the tenant can then connect the services under their name. For them to be able to do this, they must be able to produce an ajari to show that they have a registered tenancy contract. The DWA number is also required to do this and you can find this number on the main door of any apartment or villa. A security deposit of 2000 dirhams is required for apartments and 4000 dirhams for villas plus a small admin fee. There's also a connection fee of 120 dirhams plus again a small admin fee. The security deposit is fully refundable and is given back once the final bill is requested from DWA and any outstanding charges are fully paid off. Bills are issued monthly and can be paid through various channels. The easiest is online or through the DWA app. Alternatively, you can still pay at any store outlets or various kiosks across the city. End users of course pay the charges for the property that they live in and for tenants for the property that they're renting unless it's specifically agreed in the contract. On short term rentals, it's more common for the charges to be included as part of the rental fee. Make sure that you do pay your bills on time if you can, otherwise they will get cut off if you do become overdue and you'll have to pay off any outstanding charges and pay a 100 dirham reconnection fee to get the electricity and water back on. Another thing to be wary of is to make sure if you're a new tenant to check with the landlord that all charges from the previous tenant or owner have been cleared off. Apart from your actual usage of the utilities, the main expense on the monthly bill is the housing or municipality fee. For tenants, this equates to 5% of the annual rent and is divided up over the monthly bills across the year. For end users, this is also calculated using 5% of the average annual rent for similar units in that same community where the property is located. Average bills are therefore dependent on which community the properties are located in, orientation, floor, and when you're talking about villas, whether they have a swimming pool or a large amount of landscaping. It also depends on the consumption behaviors of the people in the property, the number of people living there, and also the amount of time that they spend within the property during the day. Briefly, just to talk about the other bills that you can get, if we're looking at the internet and TV or even landline services, you can choose between Do and Atisala. Just note that some buildings, you can only choose one specific provider and the costs depend on the package that you choose. For chiller fees or air conditioning, it really depends on the area that you live in. So in some areas, the chiller is included within the charges of a certain building. But in other areas, for example, the palm, you have to pay chiller fees separately to a third party. Gas charges are also similar to the chiller fees. It depends on the building. So some properties will have fully electric kitchens, whereas others will use a gas stove and you have to pay a third party for the amount of gas that you use. I hope this video was useful and please feel free to ask me directly if you've got any more questions about utility charges here in Dubai. Thanks for watching the video and if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to see when I post more videos on my channel.